Yo. It is your boy, Vippe, the OG fruit fanatic from Finland. Yeah, I wanted to start this series to showcase the different kind of fruits in the world because there is so many and just inspire motivate you there to eat more fruit because it it's so big part of my life and I enjoy it so much so why not take you along in this series each episode we are gonna discover some some fruit I don't know what they are yet I hope this is long lasting series and the fruits will get more exotic, better quality when time goes on. Right now I'm at the Finland, so my options are pretty limited, but we will discover some amazing fruits together. And I hope you tag along to the journey, because I mean the fruits, the fruits are pretty damn awesome. In my opinion, probably the best food for human beings. If I had to say three good things about the fruits, they had to be. They make you feel so damn energetic, so damn good. The pure energy you get from the fruits. Damn. The second thing, they the fruit should taste amazing or at least good, but it should taste like oh, this is so amazing. And if it don't, throw it away, throw it away and get another one because there is some good fruit out there. And the third thing, there are so many different kinds of fruit. So I hope we can discover them all. <laughs> Probably not, but I will try my best. And yeah, just go look for wherever you are living. The fruit will be different. The prices will be different, the quality will be different. So just go hunting and find yourself some good fruit. Yeah, let's get this series going. Eat your fruit, guys. This is the first fruit we are gonna talk about. Not this. In the in the next clip. Alright. Boop. Galia melon. It looks like this. And it's got Galia melon. It looks kind of like cantaloupe melon, but it isn't cantaloupe melon. I don't know exactly what time of year is the season for these, but right now in Finland they are really good. And I checked, they are grown largely in the Mediterranean, like Spain, Israel, Egypt and South America like Brazil, Honduras, Costa Rica. It should have really distinct smell like fruity and tropical smell when you smell the top of it. And I think that's one of the keys to find the good quality ones. It should turn like little yellowish when it's ripe. And this definitely is little yellow and it has the fruity tropical smell when you smell the top of it. So, how do you open this? How do you open this thing? Well, I'll show you. Hyvä! When you open it, the smell comes through very much and it's really strong, strong smell, but it's good, it's good. And as you can see, there's a lot of seeds like every melon or every fruit has and i think you can eat the seeds maybe don't count me for it but i think you can and if you eat the seeds then you can go take a big dump in the forest near you and maybe you get beautiful gallian melons in a few years near you but i live in a harsh land of finland so and there ain't gonna grow any gallian melons here, so I'm just gonna put them in the compost like a, like a little pussy. Now the exciting part. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. It's still a little green on the edges and soft yellow, kind of kind of green yellow, greenish yellow on the middle. And it's really juicy and has really strong smell, like really strong smell. And just just take a bite. It has like 
very distinct taste like nothing else I can relate to it. It's kind of like aromatic, really juicy and sweet taste. And yeah, I really like it. Go find you some Gallia melon and let me know what you think. All right, that's the first episode of the fruit yourself and happy fruit hunting to you guys. Post your own adventures. I would like to see them and see you later guys on the next episode. Bye. Shoutouts to Freely from the name. I totally took it from her. I hope it's okay.